Hello everyone, this is James from Lighthouse and today I'm going to take you through how to set up a sequential number in the Lighthouse software. So first things first, I've just got a 4x4 label template set up. So now I'm going to create my variable. If I go to data at the top here and go to variables, click on wizard. I'm going to choose counter because I'd like the, the variable to actually count up per label or count down. You can name this whatever you like, I'm just going to call it counter for now. Click on next. The starting value is entirely up to you, I'm just going to choose say 500 for now. I'm going to tick this little box here which says prompt for value before print. So this will actually prompt you with something before you print so you can enter a starting number for example. So I'm just going to put enter start number. I don't want the actual character length of the variable to exceed 3, so I'm going to take that down to 3. I'd like it to increase or increment in variables per label, so I've chosen the increment. Click on next. Because it's going up in ones every time per label, I'm not going to change the step or the change value every labels, and I don't want it to re a reset after a particular number of labels, so I'm just going to click on next. The prefix or suffix is entirely up to you. On this occasion, as an example, I'm just going to use LH for Lighthouse and then click Finish. So here you can see that is the name we gave the counter and that is the default value. That can be changed at time of print, which I'll show you now. So we want to actually insert the variable as a text box. So on the left-hand side here, if I click on the drop-down arrow, go to Use Existing Variable, and you can see counter is one we've just created. So click on counter and then click onto your label. You can make it look however you wish. I'm just going to keep it like this for now. The next thing to do for a very basic label would be to add a cut shape. So I'm just going to do that very quickly. There we go. So that's roughly how I'd like it to look. So now the next thing to do is go to File and Print. So File, Print. See there it says 500, which is what we actually set up initially. I'm just gonna change that to 300, so you can see how it can just be changed whenever you wish. An important step here when you're using duplicate labels is that you select Pages. So you can see here, we've got Pages set to one. If I now preview that, you can see it's going 300, 301, 302, and 303 with the prefix beforehand. So that's how you set up a very quick, very easy sequential number. But if you do need any assistance in the future with setting these up, or perhaps you've got one set up already that you're not quite sure how to change, please feel free to let us know and we'll do our best to assist. Thank you.